Hello guys, welcome once again to KMA Catfish Farming. If today is your first time seeing our videos, may I please hum humbly ask you to subscribe to our channel. Click the notification button so that anytime I upload new video, you will be the first to know. And also, give thumbs up, share, comment at the comment section so I will respond to your questions. Well, I am in my backyard farming, you know, and my crops are doing very well. My potatoes, my lettuce, my tomato, pepper, I mean, it's doing wonderfully well. Well, today I feel like to share some few information concerning catfish farming so that you as a beginner or a first timer, you may know what to do before you get into catfish farming well i'm going to talk about some few basic things that you should consider before you get yourself into catfish farming and if you don't put these things into consideration you may end up you know in the middle of your production and it's going to be difficult for you number one is drainage especially those that they are doing backyard farming drainage is very 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 important if you don't have a proper drainage where you discharge your waste waters is going to be a very 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 big problem for you because for example those that they live in the neighborhood that they are doing backyard farming if you don't have a running gutter you know gutter that is running or stream or something like that that is running and you start your catfish farming for the for the first two months you're not going to encounter any problem because they are juveniles fingerlings so at this stage you know the waste is not that much but after three months going this is where the water is going to be smelling you know and when you are in a neighborhood that is full of people you know people live around and they start to complain about the smelling of your water you're going to have a big problem if you are not lucky they may report you to the authorities you know the municipal and you're going to have a big issue so this is one thing that you should put into consideration before you start catfish farming especially those that they are doing backyard farming if you are in a farm if you are in a, a farmland or if you are close to a river a stream canal this is no problem because to discharge your water will be so easy so you need you should put this thing into consideration otherwise you may going to be in a very big issue when you don't have proper drainage system to discharge your waste water number two is funds funds to run your business because catfish farm farming is very very capital intensive so if you don't plan and budget for how much you're going to start your catfish you may end up you know at the middle of the road and you'll be short of funds so you should know how much you can start with even if you can start with something small it is better and as time goes on you have the mindset of growing otherwise if for example if you say you're going to raise five uh, 500 or let's say thousand catfish and you have to know how much does it takes to raise all these things and you should put in consideration that you buy your equipment your labor power generation everything so you should know your budget before you get into catfish farming because it is not done on hope catfish farm man is not done on hope that you say okay let me start and i may get some funds from here or there or there no it's not done like this because when the fish get to a certain stage this is where they eat a lot and feed must be available for them to eat so this is very 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 important it is better you start small know your size from your pocket 
and then you start if you can start with 500 200 it is better than to start with 1000 whereby you're going to have an issue with funds because catfish farming is not done on hope it is reality once you get yourself in you must make sure that you feed your fishes number three you should think of power generation because for example if you don't have a stable you know electricity and all this you should think of a second alternative and that is you buy generator or pumping machine and all these things also run with fuel you understand and for price we all know how it's going up so you should put all these things into consideration this is also one of the essential things you must know number three is marketing you know number three or four is marketing if you don't start looking for bias immediately you have the concept of going into catfish farming i'm telling you your fish will be ready and you don't have bias and you will see people struggle to sell their fishes because they never did any any research any contact of getting bias you should get bias whilst you haven't even put your fish in your tank you should get bias while your fish are fingerless juveniles start go to the market speak to the market women exchange numbers tell them your idea tell them what you are planning to do let them know that you are a would-be catfish farmer or you have just started catfish farming and you will need buyers you exchange contact you keep contact them some will take you serious some may not but all the same it is better to establish that relationship as early as possible so that when your fish is ready you will just call them that my fishes are ready and they will come I mean if they will not come right away they will tell you a week or two in this way you know that you are sure other than to wait for your fish to be ready and now looking for buyers you're going to find a very serious problem also is you must have security plan for how to secure your fishes because if you leave it in just an open space like this it's going to be problem people will steal your fishes people will steal your fishes and once you secure it you protect your investment this is one of the key aspect you should know and then number six is have time to visit your farm you know you cannot just leave your farm just like that for your workers to run it you should have time to visit it if you can at least thrice twice or four times in a week it's okay if you are not doing it yourself and you have hired people to run for you you must know this or if you are outside the country you should have good communication with the workers and you should have a supervisor somebody who may go to your farm to see what is going on you can't just leave your farm just like that because you can't trust anyone when it comes to such things so you should know all this aspect before you get yourself into catfish farming otherwise you will end up in a very wrong position and you may say that the business is not good and you may pack out from the business so today is just a few topic that i'm sharing with you that these are the basic things that you should consider before getting yourself into catfish farming that is number one discharging of your waste water especially those that they are doing backyard farming number two is funds to run your business you should know how much you can afford to start number three is generation of power you know to run because you cannot rely on electricity especially in africa then number four also is 
start early to look for market whilst your fishes are not ready and then number five security is very important and then also number six is have time to visit your farm to see what is going on so like i said again my name is michael subscribe to the channel click the notification button so anytime i drop small videos like this it will help you to know what you should do and you'll be the first to have our videos thank you